Welcome to the Hobby Farm Guys Spotlight, where we take a deeper look at a specific breed of animal. I'm Brian, and today we'll look at the Pekin Duck. Now when most people think of wild ducks, their minds picture the mallard, a breed from which nearly all domestic ducks are descended. But when they think of domestic ducks, most likely they imagine the Pekin. This is a versatile breed raised for meat, eggs, and quite frequently as pets. In fact, they're so versatile, they can even sell insurance or serve in the Navy. The Pekin was first domesticated about 2,000 years ago, most likely in Southeast Asia. They're a large breed, typically with white feathers and an orange bill. They're developed for both meat and eggs and are probably the most common production duck in the world. There are actually several varieties of Pekin duck, and these include the American Pekin, a large hardy bird that is the dominant duck in North America. And in this video, unless otherwise noted, that's the one we're focused on. There's also the German Pekin. Now this variety is a result of crossing Chinese Pekins with Japanese ducks, and they have an upright appearance, kind of like a stocky version of the Indian runner. There's also the Jumbo Pekin. These ducks are the result of selective breeding and are one of the largest domestic ducks. They're meat birds that grow fast and as a result have short lifespans. And there's also the Grimaud Hybrid Pekin. Developed in France, this variety is a fertile, high egg laying bird. Little else is known about them as they're a proprietary breed. Pekins are fairly calm by nature, though they can be a bit skittish part of their only defense against predators. They're also a very hardy breed, able to tolerate nearly any climate and have strong immune systems. All of these traits make them easy to raise both as pets and production birds. Pekins are also great foragers, and if left to roam, they're going to get most of their diet this way. Although they may need supplemental feed, particularly if they're kept as egg layers. Uh, baby ducks can be fed a uh, chick starter, but make sure if they're Pekins, you stay away from medicated feed. They have such a good natural immune system that medicated feeds actually make them less healthy. Now, when it comes to laying eggs, the Pekin is a pretty good breed, averaging about 180 per year. The German variety is much lower, about 80 to 100, while the Grimaud, quite a few more. It lays up to 300 per year. Though they will lay a fair number of eggs, don't expect them to hatch ducklings. They will rarely sit on their eggs, so if you want baby ducks, you're either going to have to buy them or invest in an incubator. As far as housing goes, all ducks need good shelter to protect from predators. Also, they need draft-free coop in the winter and access to shade in hotter months. Although they will love it if you give them a place to swim, all they really need is a clean water to dunk their heads in and clean their bills out. That's our spotlight on the Pekin. Are you ready to start a flock? Or if you have another animal in mind, let us know in the comments if you want us to spotlight them. Till next time, happy hobby farming.